While on the subject of food, I feel like I ought to tell you that I am a vegan, but I'm not here to tell you that I'm living my life better than you. I am merely here to imply that. And I wasn't always, I was like you. I, I grew up eating typical American meat food, but then I learned some things and I'm like, oh no, I'm gonna have to ask a lot of questions. I'm gonna have to read a lot of information. I'm gonna have to be really annoying. And then I was like, wait, I love doing all those things. So the vegan life is the life for me. As a vegan, sometimes you get into arguments with people that you didn't even know you were talking to. I don't know if you've had that experience. Guy that's just like, oh, uh, what would you do if trees could feel? What about then, vegan? What would you do if trees could feel? I'm a guy in the street, you gotta answer. Those are the rules. What would you do if trees could feel? I guess I would keep not eating trees. I mean, you only get one wish and then I run away. <laughs> On my tiny vegan legs, I don't have to deal with this bridge troll situation. <laughs> Here's another one I like, you get a lot. As a vegan, it's like, oh, I could never give up cheese. Sorry, bro, couldn't do it, couldn't give up cheese. Do we know each other? I'm the guy who couldn't give up cheese from a second ago. I'm the guy who can't give up cheese. Had to, how'd you get in my house? Just had to come in and tell you, you know, that I can't give up cheese. Going around to the whole neighborhood, letting everyone know that I can't give up cheese. Well, then I guess I'm stronger than you because I could defeat cheese. You know what I mean? Like I could beat cheese and cheese could beat you. So by the transitive property, I can defeat you through cheese. As long as we are fighting through cheese, then I will win. Probably the best cheese to fight through, I bet is Swiss. Like poke, 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 poke. Also that cheese will remain neutral. What with it being Swiss? So guys, there's a few reasons to enjoy that joke. Sometimes I'll go into a non-vegan restaurant. I don't know if you guys have any of those here, but sometimes I'll go into a non-vegan restaurant and I'll ask, do you have any vegan options? And they'll say, we do have gluten-free options. Now, I don't know if you guys know that those are different things. One way you can spot that they're different things is they're different words. That's like one of the first clues that I look for. And yes, sometimes it might be that there are synonyms, different words meaning the same thing, but that's not what's happening here. What's happening here is like a miscommunication, something gone awry, where somebody's like, oh, uh, I'd like a vegan thing. Oh, he wants our weird thing. Okay, one weird thing coming up. Gonna get that weird thing. What's that weird thing we have? All right, we got that weird thing. Here's your gluten-free thing, weirdo, enjoy it. Like a game of telephone. That's what I grew up calling it, telephone. I went to the UK last year for the first time and I learned they don't call it telephone. Do you know what they call it? Is Chinese whispers, they told me. And I told them they should not do that, probably. <laughs> For a couple reasons. Number one, that's a horrible mishearing of the word telephone. Do you know what I mean? That's, <laughs> I guess maybe that's why it's the perfect name for the game. But number two, unless the Chinese gave you the game with that name, and maybe that's what they're saying. They're like, oh yeah, I think way back somebody, it was a Chinese person. Somebody told me that it was a Chinese. Somebody told him. Somebody, who told him? Who told him? Who told him? Who told him? Trace it all the way back. I believe you'll find out that it indeed was a racist liar who started the whole thing. <laughs> that's the thing that I just learned. We're all always learning. We all know different things at different points and we can all help each other learn. Here's, an, here's the thing I can offer you from my area of expertise, a tutorial on the difference between gluten-free and vegan. So here's an example of a food that is never vegan, but could gluten-free. So as a vegan, I would not have this, but gluten-free, maybe you could, is a living cat. So that's the thing that uh, I would never have as a vegan. But as long as it is not on bread, gluten-free can go ahead. And that is a little rhyme that I wrote you to remember when you can eat a cat, please don't eat a cat. A few years back, I was dating a woman who was not vegan and neither was her family, but for Thanksgiving, they cooked a lot of wonderful vegetable dishes that I could have. But for dessert, they were like, sorry, we just went to the ordinary supermarket, got a regular apple pie. Sorry if you can't have our normal dessert, you vegan. <laughs> they said it nice. I was like, you've been very wonderful, very gracious, like, I'm grateful, uh, I'm happy with all the food that I've had. But just by happenstance, I looked at the ingredients of the pie, and there was no butter or dairy of any kind, no eggs, and I was like, guys, I think you got a vegan pie. And they were like, no! Why did we do that? So if I hadn't have been there, I think they would have just eaten that pie, not knowing that it was secretly infiltrating their system like a vegan apple spy. But because I was there, I got to eat that whole pie. So either way, works pretty good for this guy.